Today's Morning Minute, Kingdom Living in Peace. And we read in John chapter 14, verse 27, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Jesus is telling us not to be afraid nor let our hearts, soul, be troubled. God gave dominion over his creation to Adam, but Adam gave it over to the prince of darkness, the devil. The demonic system this world cannot bring you peace. It is in turmoil, morally upside down, filled with fear, doubt, and emotional bankrupt. The demonic world is functioning under the control and power of rebellion to God, ignorance, darkness, and wickedness. We see selfish ambition, dysfunctional families, failing marriages, wars, hatred, violence, sexual abuse, adultery, mass shootings, wickedness, immorality, vulgarity, gang violence, corporate greed, political selfishness, ineffective government, unemployment, bitterness, rage, a new definition for marriage, abortion, teen pregnancy, sex slavery, drug abuse, substance abuse, murder, godliness everywhere. Jesus says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. The world cannot give you peace. The world is filled with the demonic spirit of shame, guilt, fear, and condemnation. The world covers over the shame, guilt, fear, and condemnation with the so-called pleasures of life, money, and power, and it's often covered with addiction. Jesus is telling us there will be trouble in the world, yet he's telling us not to be troubled or fearful because he came to redeem the world. You can have peace in him because he's overcome the world, the world curse system. The peace is in him, not the world. Peace is found in the eternal living Jesus Christ in which you receive God's abundant provision of grace and his gift of righteousness. There is no condemnation in those who are in Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ has set mankind free from guilt, shame, condemnation, and spiritual death. You are no longer under the yoke of slavery to this world's cursed system. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. Jesus' blood was shed to redeem, restore, and reconcile man back to the original design, purpose, image, and likeness before the fall. The peace which Jesus Christ gives is eternal, which allows you to have a peace which transcends all understanding. In Christ, there is peace without fear, worry, and anxiety. In Christ, there is a peace knowing God loves you and accepts you. Kingdom living is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen.